This is an inertia drift, a driving technique used to carry the car through a corner whilst also maintaining momentum. In this video, I'll be telling you all you need to know about the inertia drift and if it's actually faster than cornering regularly on the toge. So make sure you keep watching until the end if you want to learn how to perfect the inertia drift. Oh, and shout out to RK Gaming for doing the driving on this video as my sim rig is still broken. Check him out. So, what is an inertia drift? The inertia drift is done by steering the car into the opposite direction of the corner, then shifting the weight of the car into the direction of the turn, causing the tyres to slide. We will look at the inertia drift and how to do it in more depth later. But firstly, let's discuss the origins of this technique. Any toge head will probably know of this technique because Takumi used it when he first raced Keisuke in the first season of Initial D. But as with many driving techniques we see on the toge today, it originated in rallying. In the 1960s, Scandinavian rally drivers popularised the technique. Of course, it is primarily used on snow as it is the most reliable method of cornering on the white powder. You may have heard the term Scandinavian flick before, and this is how that particular name for this technique came to be. So just how did this technique seep through to Japanese car culture? As we discovered in both my gutter run and slip angle tutorials, link to those in the top right, we know that toge and drifting is an amalgamation of classic rally and touring car racing. We can assume that these techniques were heavily inspired by the motorsport that was on the TV at the time. And some pioneering 90s Japanese street racers or Hashiria, Hashiria watched or heard about this technique. Now you're probably wondering, how do I actually do the inertia drift? And that is what we will be covering next. But first, I want to take up 10 seconds of this video to ask you to consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video. Only a tiny percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed and it would mean a lot if you did. Thanks. So, the inertia drift is performed on the approach to a corner. The driver steers sharply towards the outside of the corner, then lifts off the throttle and lightly applies the brakes. This causes weight transfer that rotates the car toward the outside of the turn. Weight transfer is the movement of the car relative to the wheel axes. If we step on the brake like we just did, the weight of the car is shifted to the front tyres, meaning the rears have significantly less grip as there is no weight to push the wheels into the tarmac. Therefore, as we turn and brake, the rear tyres start to slide slightly. This rotates the car. So, after braking and turning towards the outside of the corner, we then turn into the corner, release the brake pedal and fully apply the throttle. This will then cause the car to rotate into the corner. It's then up to you to balance the car on the throttle to get around the corner. Towards the corner exit, the driver may counter steer to control the oversteer. When properly executed, this technique neatly lines the car up for the exit while maintaining momentum. The inertia drift is a very versatile technique due to its relatively short setup time and the amount of momentum you carry through the corner. It can be used on both short and tight corners and long sweeping corners alike. You just need to adjust your entry speed and the amount of weight transfer you do. Let's go over how to do an inertia drift again, but slower this time. So we approach the corner and we stay on the inside line. We steer sharply towards the outside of the corner. Then we lift off the throttle and lightly apply some brake. We wait for the weight to transfer from the rear tyres to the front. Once the weight is loaded onto the front tyres, we steer into the turn while simultaneously releasing the brake. Then we step on the throttle and the car should rotate into the corner. We keep our foot planted on the throttle to get the car around the corner and add counter steer if needed. Congratulations, you just did an inertia drift. Now, do not worry if you can't nail it straight away. Doing advanced driving techniques that are pretty technical takes a lot of practice. So that is how you do the inertia drift. Make sure you let me know what you think in the comments. And if you have another technique you'd like to see me cover, also let me know. 
Don't forget to like if you enjoyed and dislike if you didn't. Once again, a big thanks to RK Gaming for making this video possible. Make sure you go and show him some love on his channel. He makes the subtle course of Toge cinematics and they're very entertaining. So link is in the description. Check him out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.